You're looking for that quarterback to keep the ball there, too. Hart High School head football coach Rick Harrington has been on the sidelines since 1978, when he was just 18 years old. You could say he has given his heart to the game he loves, but it was his heart that gave out last April and he needed to be rushed to UCLA Hospital, where doctors weren't sure Rick would live. When you came in here, I thought to myself, there's no way. I mean, and then the other guy said, yeah, I, we both, we, we didn't think you were going to make it. And I'm going, I'm glad you're wrong. <laughs> Rick's heart problems began when he had triple bypass surgery last November. After they told me that I was going to need a heart, you know, you worried a little bit going, you know, what could happen and stuff. But then it sort of, I never really thought of it that much. I felt pretty confident. When older brother Mike Harrington, who is the former legendary heart head football coach and has shared the sidelines with Rick for 38 years, heard the news, he feared the worst. Is he going to be able to walk? Is he going to be able to talk? Is he going to be able to live? Uh, uh, and so, you know, daily trips uh, down to UCLA to, to see how the progress is going, that's, uh, uh, you know, that, that was um, uh, hard emotionally to go down there. Rick was put in a coma for eight days and spent nearly two months in the hospital recovering. Here we go. One, two, three. Excellent. Trying to get up and walk, that was the hardest part, you know, trying to get up and walk. And it took me day after day to get a little bit farther, a little bit farther with a walker. I still had a walker then. But just going through that is just, oh, it was terrible. It was terrible, yeah. With a new heart and a second chance at life, Coach Rick Harrington knows exactly how he is going to live. You got a new heart, you don't, you don't, you don't know when that's going to last. So you got to, every day has got to be great. You got to try and make every day great.